funny. <laughs> Probably a good thing that wasn't on. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace. And you miss the best part always when I first come into this little room. But today's video... Where are you from? Whoa, yeah, where am I from? <laughs> Sorry, I'm Noel. from the moon. No, I'm from... Hi, I'm Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. That's where I'm from. And it's pretty nice in Western New York. A little, a little cold, but it's better than upstate New York. I saw that they had some really wet weather. We're going to be getting some. Oh, well, it's cold. I don't like the cold. I... I had to check my chickens a zillion times today because little lady, because it is her first time going broody, the others are bullying her out of her spot. So I put her back on her eggs. Oh, excuse me. I should start over. I don't want that burp in there. <laughs> <laughs> now my stomach's growling. <laughs> Uh, I had I ate today. I had some really good stuff, but let's get back to the chickens. Um, because little lady is brand new at being a mama. She keeps forgetting what nest nest she's in, probably, or they're bullying her. Uh, I think they're bullying her out of it. Silver has been sitting in a nest, but she's been very nice, and so has Emma. She's been sitting on an, in a nest. I think Emma wants to be broody. I wasn't sure, so I kind of put all the eggs under Little Lady, and I kept moving Silver off of those eggs and put, put um, Little Lady back on them because that's where Little Lady wants to be. She really is broody. And Emma, because I think she is broody, and she's been sitting in the nest for a long time, I gave her three eggs. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I gave Little Lady two eggs. Little lady did have five. And Silver, I didn't give any to her because she's really not broody. But she does let me pick her up and move her. I moved her three times already. And I had to take uh, a big bird off of Little Lady. There was two of them on top of her. And she was really squawking. So I moved the one bird and the other bird jumped outside of the nesting box. And what did it do? It laid an egg and it went crack onto the porch. So I had to clean that up. So I lost an egg today. And I sold all the eggs that I have. I have just what's in my refrigerator, which is a, um, a little over a dozen is what I have in my refrigerator. I sold all the eggs. And yesterday somebody gave me an extra dollar for one of the dozen I do have it so that they can take the change if they wish to, but apparently they wanted to pay an extra dollar for a dozen. So instead of getting two dollars for the one dozen of eggs, I got three, which was kind of nice. Now today I'm going to put in a little video, and it's going to be right in a minute. i got to tell you what it is first. I was tagged by Life with Patty. Patty tagged me, and she wanted me to share the things I collect. Well, you're going to be shocked at what I collect. There's only one, actually two things that are kind of collectibles. The rest of them is, you would say, what in the world is she collecting that stuff for? And so let's go to that little video. I collect elephants. Lots of elephants. I took them out one time, and there was like 50-some elephants. I'm not going to take them out this time. I also collect little, these are pencil sharpeners, but they're metal. See, there's the sharpener. And they have parts that move. And like, here's a fan. When the fan moves, it will move. Trying to do this with one hand is like impossible, but the blade goes around. And there's the sharpener, it's on the bottom. And you may have all seen the world. And there's the sharpener on that. See the world turn, as the world turns, <laughs> like the show. 
But yeah, this is one thing I collect. I collect plastic bags too. Why? Because I like to crochet. This is, this is another collection. I have two of these bags full. And I like to fold them into triangles. This is a plastic bag. It's like a Walmart bag. I collect the bags that my chicken feed comes in. Why do I collect these? I'll show you the bag. See? Chicken feed. Whoa! I just made them all fall. But I collect the chicken feed bags. Why? Because I saw a video where they sewed them to make baskets or bags to take to the grocery store. So I have tons of them here. See? Tons and tons. I collect coffee filters. What, used coffee filters these are. Why? Because I have crafts in mind. But I haven't made the crafts yet. But there's, look at all. Whoa, I just pulled this out of the box. I have to put it back in the box. Let's see the coffee filters. I collect pop tabs. Why, you say, do you collect pop tabs? Well, I like to crochet purses. This is a pop tab, but this one's a small one. They're lanyards, and you would hang your tag off of it. Pop tabs. I collect the parts of the milk jugs and the caps. Tons of caps in here. And I cut the little thing that you pull off the jug apart and I collect both rings and the flat part. Why? I don't know. I just do. I collect paper towel and toilet paper rolls. Why? Because one day they said that they were not going to have them anymore in the toilet paper rolls, so I started collecting them. These are those tops and bottoms. I cut them apart and I keep the ring in the one and the flat part in the other. The covers. I collect the rings from the, from the milk jugs because I make decorations with the yarn. I don't know if I have one in here or not. Nope. So sorry. Don't have. Here's one thing you can make with the caps. With plastic art. And with the milk jug things, I make wreaths. I have a lot of crafty ideas in my brain. And if I ever get to them, I'll have to live to 110 instead of 105. <laughs> so, And there's things that I didn't show you that I do collect. I couldn't. I don't remember where I put them. That's why I didn't show you. But they're up there in that big old craft room. And that craft room is really a gather everything room. It's not set up like a craft room. I never craft in it. I just store my stuff in it. So I hope you all had a great day. And I will see you all. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.